Good evening. Oh. Hello. Testing. Is it good? Good evening. My name is Alana Farazi, class of 2021 treasurer at Waterbury Freer Academy. It is my <laughs> it is my pleasure to welcome distinguished guests, parents, students, and staff to this year's Waterbury Freer Academy Senior Awards Night. We are very excited to celebrate all that our students have accomplished. Please rise and welcome Ben D. Alzatini to the stage as we recite the Pledge of Allegiance and sing the national anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see be seated. At this time, I'd like to welcome Principal Jade L. Gopi, who will begin the ceremony with the recognition of the top-ranked students in the class of 2021 officers. Good evening, parents, guests, and honorees. Welcome. I would like to recognize with us, hold on. Good evening, good evening. Okay, good evening. There we go. There we go. Uh, good evening and welcome to our families, our guests, I'd like to recognize with us on the stage our superintendent of schools, Dr. Ruffin, she's here with us. <laughs> Vice President of the Board of Education, Commissioner Karen Harvey. <laughs> the Waterbury Career Academy System Principals, Mike Harris, and Jennifer Franceschino. Our presenters that are here with us this evening, our families, and of course, the reason why we are all here to recognize and celebrate our seniors. At this, yes, let's clap for them.
At this time, I'd like to ask our superintendent of schools, Dr. Verna Ruffin, to have a few words. Thank you, Principal Gopi. And um, wow, it's great to see you. It's great to see you back. And uh, I can think of no greater honor to bestow upon such a wonderful class uh, as an example of endurance and perseverance and grit, <laughs> stamina, um, true images of a portrait of a graduate. And unfortunately, you got there by fire and a pandemic. But I'm so very proud of you. And I am so honored to be a part of celebrating you this evening. To all of your parents and families, to all of our guests here tonight, to all of the teachers and the faculty and the staff who have poured into you, even in a virtual environment and in person and a combination thereof, uh, to, to let you know, class of 2021, how special you are and how much I am encouraged by the fact that I know that you're going to touch the world in a meaningful way because you've persevered and continue to persevere in a time that no one could have thought of 15 months ago. So congratulations to you, and it's an honor to be here. Okay, thank you, Dr. Ruffin. And without further delay, let's begin. We will start the awards evening off with recognizing our top 10 graduating seniors in the class of 2021. Students, please come to the stage when I call your name. And ranked number 10, Angel Velasquez. Angel will attend University of Connecticut Stores, majoring in computer science. Angel, come back. Come back. Number nine, Wajia Shabazz. Wajia is not with us this evening, but she is attending University of Connecticut Stores, and she's majoring in biological sciences. Ranked number eight, Julio Guaman. Congratulations. Julio is also attending UConn, majoring in biological sciences. Ranked number seven, John Guzman. Congratulations. At this time, he's undecided, but he will be majoring in business management. <laughs> Number six, Natisha Gokarin. <laughs> Natisha is also attending the University of Connecticut, majoring in pharmaceutical sciences. Number five, Richard Parente. Richard is attending Yale University. Yes. He's planning to major in computer science. Number four, Luna Gonzalez. Luna is attending the University of Connecticut. She will major in visual arts and psychology. Number three, Ashley Gallego Calle. Ashley is not in attendance with us this evening. She is attending Bates College, majoring in political science and history.
And number two, the salutatorian of the graduating class, Waterbury Prayer Academy 2021 is Daniel Petro. Daniel will attend Worcester Polytechnic Institute majoring in mechanical engineering. And ranked number one, the valedictorian of the class of 2021 is Andrew Petro. Andrew will attend Worcester Polytechnic Institute. Yes, the same place his brother is going. He is majoring in mechanical engineering. Okay, students, put your medals on. You've earned them. I present to you the top 10 graduating seniors in the Waterbury Career Academy class of 2021. Excellent. You guys are good. Congratulations, everyone. Excellent job. Congratulations. Congratulations. At this time, we're going to recognize the class officers, the president of the class, Bendy Alzatini. Congratulations. Vice President of the class, Johan Castillo. Congratulations. Secretary of the class, Carla Carrasquillo. Treasurer Alana Ferrazzi. <laughs> okay, Alana, you're going to stay? Okay, thank you. Have a seat. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. At this time, Mrs. Gopi will begin the recognition of scholarships. Thought I had a break. Okay. And the first scholarship award goes to, um, this one is the Spartan Spirit Scholarship awarded to a student who is attending college and maintained B average and displays Spartan honor and school spirit. And this award is going to Yakeni Chambers. Okay. The next award, the 2021 Coca-Cola Scholarship is awarded to a student that exemplifies superior leadership, service, and academics. They are change agents, positively affecting others in their communities. And this award is given to Alan Rydell Murillo.
Alan, don't leave. Hold on now. The next award, the Superintendent's Award, is awarded to a student for their commitment to their education, their willingness to help others in school and in the community, and for their overall leadership. And the winner of that award is Alan Rydell Moreno. Great job, also. At this time, I would like to introduce Mrs. Lindsay Ferrari, our school counselor. The Col College Board Opportunity Scholarships. Avante Santos, Maya Daly, and Richard Corrente. This is a, these are awarded to students completing college readiness programs. Avante was awarded $2,000 for improving his score on the SATs. Maya was awarded $1,000 for completing the FAFSA, and Richard was awarded $1,000 for utilizing Khan Academy in preparation for the SAT. The next award, the Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizen Award. This award is awarded to a senior who possesses the qualities of a good citizen, dependability, service, leadership, and patriotism in their home, school, and community. This award goes to Bendy Alzatini. The William J. Curley Memorial Scholarship. This is awarded to a senior who is a member of the FD Community Federal Credit Union, is involved in extracurricular activities, and achieves high academic honors. This is being awarded to Ashanti McMasters. The Horatio Alger State Scholar. This is awarded to applicants whom plan, who plan to enroll in college in the upcoming fall while maintaining a 2.0 GPA. They are involved in co-curricular community service activities and display integrity and perseverance in overcoming adversity. This is being awarded to Hannah Dos Santos. The Rivera Memorial Foundation Scholarship. This is the Peak Physical Therapy Scholarship. And this is awarded to a student who demonstrates leadership or volunteerism throughout their school or community and are working towards a degree in the medical healthcare field. Issa Marie Flores Acosta. At this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Michael Harris, Assistant Principal. Good evening, and uh, congratulations to all our recipients. The Platt Brothers Scholarship is awarded to students that are planning to attend college or university and working towards a degree in manufacturing. Tonight, we'd like to award Alejandro Lopez, and Joseph Montijo.
At this time, I'd like to call up the family of Mr. Patsy Garino, who was a teacher here. His family would like to address uh, the crowd here and present a scholarship. Good evening. My name is Mark Garino. I'm joined here by my sister, with my sister, Lisa Campion, uh, her husband, Ned Campion, my mother, Paula Garino, and I'm also representing my brother, Chris Garino, who couldn't be here this evening. Uh, as Mr. Harris said, my father recently passed away. When I was with my father in his hospice uh, room and at, at, at St. Mary's Hospital, I was able to look out his window and I saw three prominent things that defined his life. First, I saw Metal Fab, where he received, where he had his first job as a manufacturer at the age of 18, where he started to support his family. I also saw Sacred Heart Church, the church which my parents got married in 1961. And up on the hill, which was shining bright, was Waterbury Career Academy, a place that my father loved coming to every day and found fulfillment in his life. And it's, it's in his honor that we created this scholarship for him. The Patsy A. Garino Memorial Scholarship is a scholarship awarded to a 2021 graduate of the Waterbury Career Academy High School. This scholarship is in honor of Patsy A. Garino, who passed away in January 2021. Patsy A. Garino was a native of Waterbury and a local manufacturer in the greater Waterbury area for over 44 years. His greatest love and passion was the time he spent working with his students at WCA. This scholarship is awarded to a graduate of WCA who is pursuing her career in technology or technology education. The recipient should also exemplify the characteristics and qualities of Patsy A. Garino respectful, hardworking, and having commitment to being a lifelong learner. Our first $2,000 scholarship recipient is Andrew Petro. Our family has also chosen to award another $2,000 scholarship this year in my father's name. At this time, I'd like to congratulate John Guzman. At this time, I'd like to introduce Mr. Nacor Vincent, alumni class of 2020. Thank you, it's my honor to be here. On behalf of the class of 2020, we would like to, award, to give this award to students applying to a four-year college or university. Students had to write an essay about a teacher that inspired them, how they were impacted, and how they plan on inspiring others in the future. The Class of 2020 scholarship recipient, Presley Anthony. <laughs> and Verani Figueredo.
Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce Ms. Jennifer Fermato, a school counselor. Good evening. Good evening. The Boys and Girls Club of Greater Waterbury Scholarship is awarded to a student with high academic achievement and citizenship with plans to attend a post-secondary school for the 2021-22 academic year. The student participates in extracurricular activities in school and within their community. This award is given to John Guzman. The, P the PTSA scholarship is awarded to a student and their family who has been committed to the PTSA. Brandon and his mom, Christina, have been a part of our PTSA for four years. Brandon did attend meetings and volunteered at the vendor fair we held in 2019. Brandon will be attending Naugatuck Valley Community College. Congratulations, Brandon Diaz. The Connecticut Elks Francis Joyce Award is awarded to outstanding students who are at or near the top of their class, active in school and community activities, and recognized as leaders by their peers. This award is given to Alan Rydell Morello. The Elks Most Valuable Student Top 20 is awarded to a student who exhibits leadership, academic achievements, records, and involved in community service in school and in the community. This is awarded to Alan Rydell Morello. The Horatio Alger National Scholarship is awarded to applicants who have faced and overcame great obstacles in their young lives, plan to enroll in college in the upcoming fall while maintaining a 2.0 GPA, involved in co-curricular community service activities, and display integrity and perseverance in overcoming adversity. This award is given to Alan Rydell Morello. The Rivera Memorial Foundation, Alexander Alves Memorial Foundation Scholarship is awarded to student athletes who demonstrate academic success, leadership on their sports team, and in the community. And this award is also given to Alan Rydell Morello. Good evening. Today I have the honor and privilege to present an award to a staff member who has helped me immensely throughout this year. Without their support, I would not have been able to receive these scholarships and awards that I have managed to attain. I know how hard you worked trying to motivate us seniors and keep us top of our stuff. During, this un during these unprecedented times, where it was difficult for everyone, 
Thank you again for being so compassionate, yet so giving at the same time. With that being said, I would like to present the Coca-Cola Joseph B. Whitehead Educator of Distinction Award to Ms. Ramado. Congratulations to all the scholarship recipients. Now we will begin the presentation of awards, and I welcome Assistant Principal Michael Harris to the stage. The, sport, the Spartan Award is awarded to a student who demonstrates the most school spirit. Bendy Alcentini. and Kamar Schofield. <laughs> the Honor Award, awarded to the students who have shown by their words and actions that they possess honor, qualities and characteristics we hope to install in all of our students. Honest, organized, noble, optimistic, and respectful. Tonight's recipient are Richard Corrente. and Catriana Salamita. Excellent attendance awarded to students who have demonstrated a, a commitment to their education by attending school regularly, on time, and have not missed one class period during their senior year. Tonight's recipients are Joseph Montillo. <laughs> Larrick Nadraco. and Wilfredo Velez. The Outstanding Attendance Award is awarded to students who have demonstrated a commi commitment to their education by attending school regularly and has not missed one class period during their senior year. The following recipients are Nashaya Brown, <laughs> Laura Contreras, <laughs> Richard Corrente, Nyla McFadden. <laughs> Eric Moreno. <laughs> Eugene Norman. <laughs> Avante Santos. <laughs> Catherine Sharkey. and Angel Velasquez. <laughs> the 
Perfect Attendance Award, awarded to students who have not missed a day during their entire four years of high school. <laughs> The following students will be recognized tonight. Giselle Acosta. Laura Contreras. Raymond Mung. Eric Moreno. Lark Nedraco. And Bobby Rodriguez. Congratulations. The AP Scholar Award is awarded to students who scored three or higher on three or more AP exams during their freshman, sophomore, and junior years. Tonight's recipient is Richard Corrente. At this time, I would like to introduce our athletic director, Mr. Ryan McDonald. Good evening, everyone. It is my pleasure to present our Athletic Scholar Awards. These awards go to two students, one boy and one girl, who possess high levels of integrity, self-discipline, and courage whose personal standards and achievement are a model to others, academic and athletic careers have been exemplary. Our first scholar athlete is Kiana Bergen. And our second scholar athlete, Andrew Petro. At this time, I would like to introduce Mrs. Jennifer Franceschino, our assistant principal. Good evening, everyone. The Connecticut Honorable Mention of the 2021 NCIIT Award for Aspirations in Computing, awarded to students demonstrating outstanding aptitude and interest in STEM, especially information technology and computing, as well as solid leadership abilities and exceptional academic history. Jada Anguera. Congratulations. And Bobby Rodriguez. President's Award for Educational Excellence, awarded to a student who earns a grade point average of 90 on a 100 point scale and an A on a letter scale or 3.5 on a 4.0 scale, and has achieved high achievements in reading or math on state tests or nationally normed tests. Andrew Petro.
The President's Award for Educational Achievement. Awarded to students that show outstanding educational growth, improvement, commitment, or intellectual development in their academic subjects. These students give their best effort, often in the face of special obstacles. Jonathan Taylor. And Simeon Hoffler. The American Citizenship Award. Awarded to students who participate in school and or community service, show a positive attitude toward classmates, school, and community, display an understanding and appreciation of civic responsibility, possess strength of character and the courage to do what is right, promote citizenship with their school and community through other activities. The following recipients are Bendy Alzatini. Kieran Behari. <laughs> Lyric Andrico. Wendy Pacheco. <laughs> and Alan Rydell Murillo. Congratulations, guys. The Scholastic Aptitude Test, the 1200 Club, is awarded to students who scored a 1200 or higher on the SAT. The following recipients are Kiernan Bahari. Jada Cordero. Richard Corrente. Makai Gomes. Luna Gonzalez. Justin Perez. Yep. 
Andrew Petro. Daniel Petro. Avante Santos. And Angel Velasquez. Congratulations, 1200 Club. Congratulations to all award recipients. At this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Bolsavich, our teacher, as he begins the presentation of the academic chords and pins. Good evening. Tonight we have three awards for achievement and uh, commitment to the art, to the visual arts. The first award goes to Luna Gonzalez. Okay. Stay up on stage, okay. <clears throat> and the second award goes to Isabella Rodriguez. We also have two awards for the Connecticut Association of Schools, the Arts Award, and these are going to Luna Gonzalez and Isabella Rodriguez. Finally, for exceptional talent in art, goes to Joseph Montijo. Congratulations. Congratulations. Sorry, amateur move. I would like to welcome to the stage Ms. Carly Lindley. Good evening. Good evening. The Academic Growth Award is awarded to the student who has shown significant gains in grades and assessments in English since grade nine shown improvement in work ethic, academic attitude, and English enthusiasm. The award goes to Avante Santos. The Academic Excellence Award goes to the student with one of the highest GPAs in English and is highly motivated and enthusiastic, displays passion for English. The award goes to Simeon Huffler.
The Maya Angelou Award is awarded to the student who has demonstrated collegiality toward the English concentration, and the award goes to Jalen Chambers. The Stellar Student Award is awarded to the student who displays a positive attitude towards learning in English. This award goes to Jennifer Bastillo. The Excellent Effort and Leadership Award is awarded to the student who has shown the greatest amount of motivation towards learning in English. This award goes to Jennifer Rodriguez Almanzar. She could not be with us tonight. I would now like to introduce Mr. John Edmond, our teacher in the Engineering and Manufacturing Academy. The first of the three awards is the Academic Growth Award. This is awarded to the student who has shown significant gains in grades and assessments in manufacturing since grade nine. This person's also shown improvement in work ethic, academic attitude, and engineering manufacturing enthusiasm. Uh, this award is presented to Alejandro Lopez. Looks like Alejandro can't be here tonight. Uh, the next two awards are the Academic Excellence Award and the Professionalism Award, and they are being split this year. The Academic Excellence Award is awarded to the student with one of the highest GPAs in the Manufacturing Academy and is a highly motivated individual who's enthusiastic and displays passion for engineering and manufacturing. The Professionalism Award is awarded to the student who exemplifies the highest standard of professionalism and ethics. The co-awardees this year can figure out which half of each chord they take. So and they're presented to Andrew and Daniel Petro. I now present Mrs. Linda Richard, RN, Health Services Academy Chairperson. Good, good evening. The Health Services Department at the Waterbury Career Academy is proud to offer three awards. Our first award is the Overall Excellence in Health Services. This is the student who exemplifies the medical profession's highest values, commitment to service, community involvement, leadership, and a dedication to academic excellence. This year's recipient is Kiana Bergen. Our next award is the Excellent in Nursing Assistance. This is awarded to the student who demonstrates a strong, positive work ethic, professional behavior in the clinical setting, academic determination. In addition, this student compays an enormous amount of compassion and empathy for all those in her care. 
This year's Nursing Assistant Award goes to Katie Tepe. While we were all shuttered in with COVID, Katie was out working. And our final award is the Nightingale Integrity Award. This award, is a, this award goes to the student who embodies the principles of integrity with honesty and a genuine spirit. This student takes on the responsibility with ease, guides her peers with the influence of suggestion, models appropriate behavior, and confidence both in and out of the classroom. The 2021 recipient is Natisha Gowarkin. And now I'd like to introduce Mrs. Robin Pierce. <clears throat> Good evening. The Human Services Academy Academic Cords and Honors are awarded to three students, four students actually. The Academic Growth Award is awarded to two students who have shown significant gains in grades and assessments in human, human services since grade nine. These students have also shown improvement in work ethic, academic attitude, and human services enthusiasm. These two students, Mario Herrera and and Megan Ortiz. Uh, Megan is not here tonight. We will get her award to her. The next award for academic excellence is awarded to the student with one of the highest GPAs in human services and is highly motivated and enthusiastic displays passion for human services, Bendy Alzatini. Our next award is the Humanitarian Award, awarded to the student who made remarkable contributions to the community and or humanitarian service that made a difference to the well-being of others. Giselle Acosta goes above and beyond and is active at Waterbury Career Academy in serving the greater Waterbury community. Um, I don't think she's here tonight. I would like, next like to introduce Mrs. Kendra O'Brien, teacher in the Information and Technology Academy. The Information and Technology Academy um, awards three awards every year. The first one is for academic growth. This one's given to the student who has shown improvement in work ethic, academic attitude, and information technology enthusiasm. This year, it goes to Raymond Maj.
The second award is the Academic Excellence Award. It is awarded to the student, one of the highest GPAs in information technology, and who is highly motivated and enthusiastic, and who displays a passion for information technology. This year's award winner is Richard Corrente. The Professionalism Award is awarded to the student who exemplifies the higher standard of professionalism and ethics in information technology. This year's recipient is Bobby Rodriguez. I would like to introduce Mr. Armin Lavaster, Vassar, Math Department Chairperson. Well, I'm here. So I'm here to present the Academic Growth Award, awarded to the student who has shown significant gains in grades and assessments in mathematics since grade nine, shown improvement in work ethic, academic attitude, and mathematics enthusiasm, Wilfredo Wolf Velez. <laughs> Academic Excellence, awarded to the student with one of the highest GPAs in mathematics and is highly motivated and, and enthusiastic, displays passion for mathematics. Richard Corrente. The Fibonacci Award, awarded to the student with one of the highest scores on the mathematics portion of the SAT and has an exceptional work ethic, Julio Guman. <laughs> Hardest working. Awarded to the student who has shown the greatest amount of motivation towards learning in mathematics, Luna Gonzalez. <laughs> and the Stellar Student Award. Awarded to the student who has displayed a positive attitude and has shown the greatest amount of motivation towards learning in mathematics, Alejandro Lopez, which I believe he is not here today. So let me introduce Mr. Luis Pontecorvo, music teacher. Good evening. Um, I'd like to present three awards this evening. Um, the first is Progress and Commitment and Music to Catherine Sharkey. Second award uh, goes to achievement and contribution in music, Isabella Rodriguez.
And lastly, uh, dedication and commitment and music, Ruth Garcia. I'd like to now uh, introduce the science department teacher, Mrs. Laura Thomas. Presenting the awards for science. First, we have the Academic Growth and Science Award. This is awarded to the student who's shown significant gains in grades and assessments in science since grade nine, shown improvement in work ethic, academic attitude, and science enthusiasm. This goes to Danielise Sequina Benitez. Also, Asia Washington. The Academic Excellence in Science Award goes to the student who has one of the highest GPAs is highly motivated and enthusiastic, and has a passion for science. And I have to tell you, when we calculated this, it was weird because we had two individuals who had almost identical averages. So it made perfect sense that we would have to share this award between the Petro twins. And come on up. That's, that is both of you. Rosalind Franklin Dedication to Science Award. This is awarded to the student who has outstanding academic achievement in science and will be pursuing a career in the science field in college. This goes to Natisha Galcran. It's an honor to introduce Ms. Sarah Paradise our physical education teacher. Okay, there are three awards for physical education. The first award, Progress and Commitment in PE, and that award goes to Zaria Escafari. The next award, Achievement and Contribution in PE, and that award goes to Joseph Mantillo. And the final award is Exceptional Talent in PE, and that award goes to James Key. Yeah. 
I would now like to introduce Mr. David Sylvester, Social Studies Department Chairperson. Good evening, everyone. Our first award is the Academic Growth Award. It is given to the student who has shown significant gains in grades and assessments in social studies since grade nine, shown improvement in work ethic, academic attitude, and social studies enthusiasm. Our recipient is Fabiola Marotti. Our second award is the Academic Excellence. It is awarded to the student with one of the highest GPAs in social studies and is highly motivated and enthusiastic. Displays passion for social studies. Our recipient is Daniel Petro. Our next award is the Stellar Student Award. Award to the student who has displayed a positive attitude and has showed the greatest amount of motivation towards learning in social studies. Our recipient is Luna Gonzalez. <laughs> Lastly, we have the Howard Zinn Award awarded to the student with the highest history advanced placement score. And our recipient is Richard, Caren Richard Carente. <clears throat> it is my pleasure to introduce Mr. Alberto Rodriguez, World Language Department. Thank you. Good evening. For the World Language Department, we have three awards. For the Dedication and Accomplishment Award, awarded to the student who has shown significant gains in grades and assessments in world language since grade nine, shown improvement in work ethic, academic attitude, and world language enthusiasm. This award goes to Nasha Brown. She's not, we'll accept this award, she's not here today. The next award goes to Academic Excellence, awarded to the student with one of the highest GPAs in world language, and is highly motivated and enthusiastic, displays passion for the language. This award goes to Bendy Al Satini. And the next award goes to the Hispanic Ambassador Award, awarded to the student who demonstrates a willingness to assist Spanish speakers and learners of Spanish in our school, in our community. And it goes to John Guzman. <laughs> Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce Mrs. Kendra O'Brien, future banker advisor, and Mrs. Jenny Francesca, Northwest Regional Workforce Investment, as they begin the presentation of academic distinctions. The, North, the Northwest Regional Workforce Investment Board Future Bankers Program 
has students complete three online courses designed and offered by the Center for Financial Training. The courses provide students with fundamental principles and practices of banking and credit in the United States. It provides the students with real life examples and experiences that, is, that bank employees can encounter on a daily basis as well as on the job shadowing with Thomason Savings Bank. The following students have completed the program this past year. John Guzman. Ashanti McMasters. James Petkin, who I do not believe is here this evening. Avante Santos. <clears throat> and Kayla Weaver. I would now like to introduce Mrs. Linda Richard, HOSA Future Health Professionals Advisor. Okay. HOSA, mm, where are we? HOSA is the state and national career and technical student organization. In short, it's for students who are enrolled in health science programs. The students being recognized tonight have been members of HOSA for three years. They have volunteered for our Red Cross blood drives. They've hosted and competed at the state leadership conference. They've served as ambassadors for visiting HOSA chapters. They fundraise with cardiograms and boograms, remember those. Compose letters of thanks and appreciation for our healthcare workers during COVID and created posters to spread positive message and scientific facts. I am humbled each year by their dedication to the profession and I wish them all the best. Liana Alvaro. Kiana Bergen. Yakini Chambers. Laura Contreras. Maya Daly. Morgan Damia. Hannah Dos Santos, Issa Marie Flores Acosta, Natisha Gaukaran, Destiny Jackson. Fabiola Marotti, Nicole Nunez, Katie Tepe, Rosalene Vasquez, and Manaza Zahid. getting my intro.
intro. Next, I'd like to introduce Mr. Keith Morin and Mrs. Laura Thomas, our National Honor Society advisors. Good evening. Um, before I say what we have on the script here, I just want to have all you students give a round of applause for your families. In order to have success, you need a great support system. So without them, you guys wouldn't be where you are. Students in National Honor Society have met the following requirements meeting the four pillars of NHS. Scholarship, students must have an excellent uh, GPA and meet equivalent standard of excellence. Service, this involves voluntary contributions made by a student to the school or community done without compensation. Leadership. Student leaders are those who are resourceful, good problem solvers, and idea contributors. Leadership experiences can be drawn from school or community activities while working with or for others. Character. The students of good character is cooperative, demonstrates high standards of honesty and reliability, shows courtesy, concern, and respect for others, in general, maintains a clean disciplinary record. The members of the National Honor Society, Gisela Costa, <laughs> Fendi Alzatini, Jada Anguera. <laughs> Kieran Bahari. <laughs> Kiana Bergen. <laughs> Nishaya Brown. <laughs> Johan Castillo. Maida Sekunjanin. Jada Cordero. Brandon Diaz. Hannah Dos Santos. Issa Marie Flores Acosta. <laughs> Leia Gallego Calle. <laughs> Luna Gonzalez. <laughs> Natisha Galcaran. John Guzman. Eric Herrera. Simeon Hoffler. Ranice Key. Elena McBride. <laughs> Nyla McFadden. <laughs> Laird <Lair> Ndreko. <laughs> 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 
Julian Ordonez. Wendy Pacheco. Andrew Petro. Daniel Petro. Eliza Redzepi. Alan Rydell Morio. Zurai Rivera. Isabella Rodriguez. Bobby Rodriguez. Rachel Rodriguez. Wajia Shabazz. Erica Sima. Wilfredo Velez. Anaya Williams. And Banaza Zahid. It is an honor to welcome to the stage, Mrs. Jacqueline Lestage, Science National Honor Society advisor. Hello, everybody. OK, so I'm here for the Science National Honor Society. Yes. <laughs> We've had some outstanding members this year. So thank you very much for joining. Um, very similar pillars to the National Honor Society. For scholarships, students must have a cumulative average of 85 overall. They have to have an 88% science overall average, and they must be either enrolled in a UConn science course this year or have already taken one in years past. Service. The, this involves voluntary contributions made by students to the school or community done without compensation. Leadership, student leaders who are resourceful, good problem solvers, and idea contributors. Leadership experiences can be drawn from nope, school or community activities while working with or for others. And finally, character. The students of good character uh, are cooperative. They demonstrate high standards of honesty and reliability. They show courtesy, concern, and respect for others and generally maintain a clean disciplinary record. And let us begin. Bendy Alzatini. <laughs> Jada Anguera. Presley Anthony. <laughs> Kiran Bihari. <laughs> Kiana Bergen. <laughs> and Nashaya Brown, who I don't believe is here tonight. <laughs> Carla Carrasquillo. We also have Maida Sekunjanin, who I don't believe is here tonight. Jada Cordero. Yeah. 
Richard Corrente. Savannah Craig, who I do not believe is here tonight. Brandon Diaz. Hannah Dos Santos. Leia Gallego Calle, who is not here tonight. Marcus Gesner. Luna Gonzalez. Natisha Gokarin. <laughs> Julio Guaman. John Guzman. Ronnie's Key. I don't think he's here tonight. Nyla McFadden. <laughs> Eric Marino. <laughs> Lair Nadraco. Julian Ordonez. <laughs> Wendy Pacheco. <laughs> we have Justin Perez who is not here tonight. Andrew Petro. Daniel Petro. Alan Rydell Murillo. Bobby Rodriguez. Rachel Rodriguez. <laughs> Wajiha Shabazz, who I don't think is here tonight. Erica Sima, who is not here tonight. Angel Velasquez. Wilfredo Velez. And last, but certainly not least, Asia Washington. Congratulations to all of our SNHS members. So proud of you all. And now I'd like to introduce Mrs. Jennifer Fermato as she recognizes this year's Taft Global Leadership Institute students.
The Global Leadership Institute, known as GLI, is a competitive and rigorous co-curricular program that brings students from Taft and Waterbury Public Schools together, both in and out of the classroom, for shared learning and leadership experiences. The program's mission is to develop a generation of global leaders with a genuine concern for world problems, multiple perspectives on global issues, and the knowledge and skills needed to contribute to worldwide change. The GLI recipients are Nashaya Brown, <laughs> Hannah Dos Santos, <laughs> <laughs> Ranis Key, <laughs> Alan Rydell Morello, congrats, and Rachel Rodriguez, congratulations. Welcome Mrs. Jennifer Franciscano, Assistant Principal of Waterbury Career Academy. Dr. Ruffin, Commissioner Harvey, thank you guys so much for coming tonight. On behalf of the Waterbury Career Academy administration and staff, we would like to thank the charitable organizations and scholarship sponsors who are here with us tonight or watching from home for recognizing the promise in our future leaders. Your generous contributions have enabled each of these students to become one step closer to fulfilling their dreams. Thank you to the Waterbury Career Academy staff for acknowledging and celebrating the diversity for celebrating the diversity within each of our students every single day. Whether it's on the athletic fields, within the communities, or the classroom settings, you recognize that each student brings their own set of unique talents and gifts. A special thank you to the parents and families. We appreciate your strong work ethic, commitment, and high expectations you have reinforced for us at home. Thank you so much for sharing your young men and women with us. You deserve a round of applause for your love and dedication to the success of your students. <laughs> Lastly, this evening is all about giving honor and recognition to our most deserving students. You have excelled academically and have been models of exemplary character over, over the course of your high school years. Let's give one more round of applause for you guys, your hard work, your dedication. We're so proud of all of you. Continue to strive for excellence, find what you love and excel in, and remember to make us proud by maintaining that Spartan honor wherever you go in life. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Congratulations. Thank you all for coming. We look forward to seeing you at graduation. Have a great night.